So hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to destack from eye level. So I'm going to be showing you the correct method of destacking from eye level. So the first thing you've got to do is you've got to select your gear, do your observations, and then take your handbrake off, one last look over the shoulder, and away you go, looking in the direction of travel. For your right turn, making sure you keep your left hand on the steering, watching for your backhand swing. And once you get to this point, make sure you kiss your hands, swap the hands, because later we'll be doing a left turn, ensuring that we use the right hand. And then looking in the direction of travel, and once you get to your pivot point, which is the middle of the pallet, and you'll put a full lock in, ensuring that you're checking your back end swing and looking in the direction of travel. And if you feel like you're coming too close, just take half a circle off and you'll drive away from it. Looking in the direction of travel, line up yourself to the pallet. And once you come close to the pallet, handbrake, neutral. Now your positioning should be four to six inches off the, uh, off the pallet. Obviously we discourage people to walk in front of your foot and it gives us time to readjust our forks. So at this point now, I'll keep my hand on the steering and I'll raise my forks to eye level. And once I get to my eye level, I'll make sure I take my tilt off because obviously I want to straighten my forks. So if I take my tilt off level, as you can see, my mast is level now and my forks are straight. Obviously, I'll have to readjust my forks according to the pallet. And I'll raise my forks, making sure that I have a clean entry inside the pallet. What we don't want to be doing is we don't want to be rubbing the pallet. So at this point now, I'll do my gears, observations, handbrake, last look over the shoulder again, and then drive into the pallet, ensuring that I drive slowly. And once we gently kiss the pallet, we're going to stop and then handbrake, neutral. What you want to do is you want to gently go inside the pallet. We don't want to be going too fast because they'll push the pallet off the beam. And at this point now, always look above how much room you got for your overhead and then lift your pallet off slightly. As soon as it's off the beam, that should be enough for you to reverse out. And at this point now, we'll select the reverse gear, observations, handbrake, last look over the shoulder, twist your body looking making sure that you're looking in the direction of travel. Drive slowly, glance back, look, look in the direction, glance back, look in the direction, glance back, look in the direction, glance back, look in the direction. And once you're away from the racking, you cover your brake, handbrake, neutral, and then you're gonna bring it to your traveling position. So you're gonna lower it down as close as possible to the ground, obviously not touching the ground. And then you're gonna tilt your pallet sufficient enough to cater for the load and then gear, observations, handbrake, twist your body, look in the direction of travel, use all the space behind you and then start turning to the direction. Ensuring you're watching your front end swing as well and your back end. And then at this point cover your brake, twist your body, use the other hand and look in the direction of travel. And stop, handbrake, neutral. 